All right, so here are the circuits that I've got so far. So these three right here are using uh, some 33 milliohm FET 750 volts. So you can see they're all similar, very slight variations, different values. The only thing that's pretty much the same between all of them is uh, just the RF choke, right? Just because I'm using the same former. And uh, this one right here has got the 1200 volt FET. You can see I've got the uh, SMD caps right here. So I'm trying again by uh, destroying them the first go around. I, you know, I ended up killing actually two sick fets. So <laughs> they ended up costing me quite a bit. Uh, I tried to do this one a little bit better. I don't know. We'll see how that works out. I still need to wind the uh, secondary for it. And this one right here I've just made so I could sort of uh, easily adjust the height of this uh, secondary, right? So I guess uh, something like that or so is where I'm going to put it at, right? Alright, so here goes this one, about 30 volts. And this is the one that's got uh same 33 milliohm fit, wider primary coupling I'm not even sure what this is uh, running at so let me get that going let's see a lot of ringing on the gate so I'll just go ahead and cut oh let's see there we go let's go ahead and cut this one up So that'll do about 400 watts with that tuning. And so that's running at about nine megahertz, nine and a half megahertz or so. So that's a seven and a half KV 100 picofarad, uh, 100 picofarad RF ceramic cap, just like the other ones. Just I guess one of them is using a 75 picofarad. So I've seen these come in different flavors: 5 kV, 7.5 kV. But so far, they seem to run uh, this type of output pretty good. So about 400 watts. So I guess I ran another one closer to uh, 500 watts for a while so yeah it got pretty hot it did eventually get pretty hot <clears throat> so yeah with this one as I've cut the uh, voltage up the waveform got a little bit better the gate voltage started to uh, damp down a little bit So, you know, it's, it's got some ringing on it, but that also looks like it's under 10 volts. So, probably would be heating up <laughs> at much higher power. But again, that's a thing of the coupling also, right? So, um, I believe that if I was to remove, or let's just say... Uh, reduce the coupling move that secondary up a little bit that gate voltage is going to go up because I, I tune the amount of capacitance on the gate at a much lower coupling so i just kind of bumped it down to see how it would run like this but you know it still runs all right you know so again that's uh <clears throat> i'll probably look all right with glass on it but i would need to tune that a whole lot more to get a, a much more significant flame because that's not as good as I've got on my, on the last one I did some more tuning with so. I haven't even really done anything with this one right I just kind of tweaked that coupling just a tiny bit and then played with the uh, gate capacitance right so yeah that's that one cut that one off so again that was a little test run and um let's see yeah, it's hard to tell like it's not warm 
but it's not cold anymore, right? And I've got these little tiny uh, five volt fans. Really don't move a lot of air. It's just kind of like lightly blowing on it. And um, again, that <laughs> stays pretty cool. Like you know, in a few seconds, I won't be able to feel anything on that. So that's not bad. Again, it it needs more tuning, uh, but say it's pretty decent. All right, so I learned the hard way that this was a bad idea. I should have realized that because this is basically <laughs> what I did. Um, and I got away with like 5 kV caps and lower before. But uh, yeah, this was just not cutting it. These are 3 kV caps each. But this type of setup, I feel like this was probably the problem. But I'm really not 100% sure. But I do know that swapping this out with just one of those little doorknob caps i've been using got the circuit to work fine uh so again i'm i'm not saying that you shouldn't use these but if you're gonna use these caps like steve did uh, i would imagine you need to go about a much better design than this because you could see i just i actually almost painstakingly carved out these traces here to do this but I did it on a double-sided copper here, and I suppose the distance there between the traces. I mean, again, I'm not real sure what, <laughs> what the deal was, but when I ran this, I got the tiniest little bit of breakout and immediate death, the uh, FET shorted, you know. So that's basically what happened uh, all three times now attempting to use these caps right here. So again, now you can see the circuit that I was using that on is back to one of these. So I just stole this from another one and put it back on. Uh, but, you know, again, same setup, except I just got a little pot right here, a little linear regulator, might add a fan later, I don't know. But yeah, there you go. Uh, currently, what I've noticed is uh, with this particular setup, I need to bring that coupling way up draw a little bit more power and it looks like this thing will actually be uh decently set up right so i'm gonna get this guy going boom so he's pulling about seven amps right now that's the waveform so i actually still need to uh raise that coupling up but right now i'm just gonna back the bias down a little bit hear noise in my speakers right now but uh, the one problem that I've got right now is I've got a very low gate voltage um, so I actually I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna work that out um, Moving the coupling up is not going to, uh, or moving it down rather, is not going to raise that gate voltage enough. So I need to pull a couple caps off there, and then boom, I'll uh, be able to run this pretty good, I think. Alright, so I got this guy going again. A little bit better. Uh, about 36 volts, so when I crank this up. Yeah, that's gonna start overheating probably so this this fit is actually acting a little bit differently but as you can see there's a certain tuning which appears at a certain voltage where that gateway form starts to look a little better but that drain is still not doing what I want all right so with the coupling up a little bit more <laughs> like this the uh, power actually hasn't gone up Say it's probably going down a little bit but if I just cut it all the way up then uh, say it still runs about the same not really a bad flame
but so you see you know it's about 340 watts tops let's just say like that right so let me cut that off now it's just sort of flush like that and I'm probably going to need to help the breakout. Let me see. Oh, there it goes. So, yeah, about 5 amps still. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so it starts switching pretty bad. So I really wouldn't want to run it with a coupling lower than that, or let's just say higher than that. Alright, so now you can see it's a whole lot higher than it was uh, the secondary. So the coupling is a lot lower than it was before. So now you can see that gate voltage, the uh, peak of that ringing is going up to about 20 volts. and. Uh, now what's happening is I can raise the voltage a whole lot more. Actually, you can see the uh, current's going up as well. So now when I raise the voltage, then um, bring it all the way to, oh, well, don't want to bring it past about 50. But then at 50, it's not doing too bad. But, uh, well, I guess I could bring it to 60 just temporarily. <laughs> Flame gets pretty big. But yeah, again, uh, so about 50 or so. Kind of wigs around. I can hear the way that I got my body position right now relative to the output is causing my speakers to hum, even though I've got them turned off right now. Alright, so with this one, I had to take uh, all that external drain capacitance off to get this one switching a little better. So, I'm just going to show that again real quick. <laughs> oh, I forgot I put a piece of solder on there. Get it started. So anyway, that's, the, uh, that's how it's switching right now. And... Just cut that one up to 61. So that's running better. Um, I actually probably should tune the windings a little more. Because uh, it will heat up like that. It's just barely kind of riding on the edge. Yes, yeah, so that's about 350. 50 watts so I think uh, what I really need to start doing is playing with that uh, gate resistance a little bit more so I'm gonna see what happens when I add a little bit more to it now with this specific tuning right so let's see and well first real quick here's uh, with the coupling even higher now so can't remember how it was running before but yeah, I'm just going to turn that up real quick also to see. So I don't like the gate voltage. But that's actually not too, too bad right there. Once it gets up to a certain point. So yeah, not bad. Alright, just added a tiny bit more gate resistance. And so at 60, that actually, the uh, gate waveform actually looks a little bit better like that. The drain's still about the same. Uh, so again, that's still going to heat up. If I run it like that for too long. But, uh, you know, it's not, it's not going to heat up like super duper fast. I don't need to worry about it. So yeah, it's not bad, but it's not quite hitting uh, 400 watts.